just can't wrap my head around this i can't wrap my head around how how shit the flash just is the show we've gotten from season four on of straight flop trash seasons and this one by far is the worst probably the worst season of them all i i, I would rather shockingly watch cicada one probably over this one that's how much this this season pissed me off and i never thought i would say that i i just don't i i, I hate this show I hate it. I hate it. It's not my show anymore. It's not the show that I loved. It has just gone complete bullshit. We saw them do, like have lightning lightsabers. Lightning lightsabers. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And I pointed to my sister out and said they're calling it a civil war. Check, 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 the, check it. Really? And this just confirms right away that they are definitely taking stuff from, you know, Disney over there. I'm sorry. The Star Wars stuff, the the Civil War aspect, something big. But yeah, I feel no emotion about any of these characters at all. I feel, I, I, and when everybody says, oh my god, like, how are we going to stop this Civil War? I feel, I feel nothing. I feel like they're, I don't feel the weight. I don't feel the, the threat level. Especially from freaking God, the, 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 uh, the God speed that we got. If that is God speed, they really butchered him. It was trash. It was trash. They looked like they they hired a guy to play Godspeed, and they showed him a clip of Robbie Rotten and say, "We want you to act this over dramatic." I didn't feel any, any. I didn't feel anything, and it just annoys me. And I just, I, I, I'm done. Like literally, guys, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm probably not coming back for season, like to do season eight reviews. I'm, I don't know. Maybe I will. I don't know. But to be frank, I, I've about had it. I feel like I've I, I like I've went through so much watching this show, so much like I just like it's it's like it's agonizing me watching these episodes. They're just not good. The writing isn't good. The character developments aren't good for a show that's called The Flash. We barely get you know you know Barry doing any problems by himself or even or even coming up with his own like solutions to the problems. Like let's be real, guys. Like, we, Barry hasn't really done much of anything, of making, like, of you know, fixing his own problems, coming up with any good ideas. They just, they literally, especially the scene where, like, he comes back from talking from to Godspeed, you know, using, you know, the, the, those J, the Jay Garrick helmets. By the way, how many helmets of Jay Garrick's do they have at Star Labs? Do they just have an unlimited amount of Jay Garrick helmets that puts them through, like, these, like, puts them into, like, these, 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 like, vision quests? Like, what's, what's happening? Like, I was like, this is stupid. This is an overtop god speed that I, like, is terrible. Like, this just isn't good. I don't feel the threat level at all. And it's so sad because this is supposed to be, like, a big, big villain. But yet, Savitar was better. Zoom was better. And, of course, you know, Eobard Thaw and Zoom, like, uh, you know, uh, you know, Reverse Flash was better. And I really thought, you know what really got me? They really tried to get Reverse Flash in this episode just to make it, like, just to pull off, oh, Reverse Flash is in it. We succeeded. It's a great finale. No, it was a trash finale. The whole lightsaber fighting bullcrap. You know, Barry able to use the um, the I guess the um, in uh, what what's it called? Uh, I, I forget what it's called. Uh, but what does Barry call it when he's in the when he like he's he's in this he's flash time. he's in he was able to do flash time then at the end, but he wasn't able to do it against any of the other god speeds. He was able to do flash time or like was able to stop you know Thawne from hitting him. And ended up throwing him across the room. Where that is how flash, how fast flash should be out of nowhere. He's only fast in those moments where no one can hit hit him and hurt him. But he had so much trouble fighting these clones that didn't even have speed, like the speed force in them. They have like um you know velocity X, which isn't even as fast as like the speed forces. Especially since you no know, Nora claimed that oh if she's around and the whole the whole you know, uh, Force families around, you'll be even faster since we're closer to you, but yet they weren't even faster than even these clones that didn't even have the Speed Force in them. And the whole clones going into the Speed Force, sucking the Speed Force, when that doesn't even make any sense how they're able to get into the Speed Force, because they're not actual speedsters, 
Uh, I'm just, this is just all logic gone, all thrown out the door. They just are taking stuff from things, making things stupid. I don't know if they, if that's a, you're possible, you're able to do that in the comic books, but like, make like, lightsabers almost, and make the whole, you know, uh, Bart being able to throw Ninja Star lightning, and you know, uh, Nora being able to use a lightning lasso, like, oh my god, it's just all of the, it's just bullcrap. Makes no sense. Nothing nothing is a lead up. It's almost as bad as watching the Star Wars movies like, you know, Force Awakens, you know, uh, you know, um, was it, uh, uh, Last Jedi and, uh, Rise of Skywalker. How that makes no sense that people just, you know, are able to do these abilities just because. That's, like, Bart was able to do it just because. Nora was able to do it just because. Nothing was explained. The only thing that made sense to me was Jay Garrick doing the thing with his helmet because he's been training for such a long time. And even then, like... I was like, this is so dumb. Uh, and then, like, the whole just... Like, and it just, a lot, they just pulled things, out, like, for, out of nowhere. No logic, no nothing. Trash. They really tried to bring in Reverse Flash thinking that would save this finale. That didn't even do it. It was so stupid. I was like, really? You guys are really, like, ruining that character because you guys keep bringing him back trying to save your seasons and trying to save stories, but they just aren't even good and you're ruining that character. I, I they, it feels like it's, he's being so overused, and the way the way they're the way they're making him now, it's like because when he even showed up, I'm like, dude, I don't even care anymore. Like they're literally ruining Reverse Flash. How many times they bring him in each season, just trying to save face because they know that's the greatest villain, and they keep bringing him back just because we know we they, we like that villain. But when you overuse a villain like that and bring him back for stupid reasons, it doesn't make any sense. And like, I, and, and it isn't just me that hates that like that has hated the Flash since season three. I, I, I know a lot of people that I've been talking to that and then been making videos that just don't like the show anymore and I don't blame them. The show is literal garbage. It just doesn't make any sense. How he's able to do flash time here, say he's and I'm sorry, the whole oh I am I'm, I'm the I'm the fastest man alive shtick, that's gone. You're not the fastest man alive. You are the slowest man alive, my guy. Slow. Slowest man alive. As, and like the times he's like when they keep looking at Barry like he has ideas, I'm like, I'm sorry, but the writers pretty much since the way the writers make him, I can just see, like, tumbleweeds just, you know, going across. Like, he has no, nothing. He has no ideas. That's how dumb they make the character now. And it makes me sad because Barry's a smart character. I miss the CSI work. I miss him coming up with equations and doing stuff. And I just miss him, you know, really owning that he's a smart guy. He's really smart in the comics and they make him so dumb in the show. They started making him really dumb after season three, like, super dumb. And I just, I don't know what it is. I love Grant Gustin. He always kills it, and I don't blame him for this. It's the writing in the writer's room. It's just god-awful. It's god-awful. And the way they treat Joe in this show now is ridiculous. Joe has not had a great arc since season three. On God. He, I, like, and these, and, and these, these, and, the, like, in the everlasting, you know, um, you know, the, the team Flash getting bigger and bigger, that's ridiculous, too. I don't like how big... The Flash team is gone, and I'm sorry, I, I'm not really feeling the new characters. I really started liking Chester at first, but I don't really care about the character anymore. I just, I, I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not feeling it. I feel like, you know, people, like, I feel like he's just there for people to hate on him. At the end of the day, people always yell at that character. I feel like, why do we have him in here? Um, and, you know, they bring in a character like that, but yeah, they throw away, um, you know, uh, the, the guy that played Draco Malfoy in Harry Potter. Like, I liked that character. <clears throat> when he was in season three, they threw that character away. They 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 expect us to care about Nora and to care about Bart, but they threw away Wally away. This is a, this is a series that literally does not care about their characters, are willing to throw them away and bring in new characters and say, oh, we we care more about these characters. We want you to care about more about these characters. Forget about those characters, and that upsets me. That was not the show I started in season one that did that to their characters. They just threw away Wally. They threw away, you know, uh, what was his, what was his name? Uh, Bethany, um, that Draco Malfoy's character, or whatever that was in this. Julian. Yeah, Julian. They threw away that character. Like this show, is just a disappointment. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna say, guys. I'm not. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I don't. I don't care where this is going in season eight. I hope season eight's the last season. I'm hoping, because. I don't, it's just, it's, 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 I just don't love it. I, I, I hate it. I don't like it. I felt like this was so butchered, this finale. I just didn't like it. I hated it. So I really want to know what you guys have to say down in the comments below. Again, if you like this show, good for you. I think the writing is trash and I think the show is trash. Just as simple as that. 
this, this is, I, I did not sign up for this. I didn't even want to watch this finale. My sister convinced me to watch it. I, just, I did not care. I knew this part two was going to be trash. I, 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 they really went to the length of we're going to add Star Wars lightsabers and have a big, like, a, a freaking saber battle and, and running around and stuff. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Really? You threw all logic out the window. Especially, you threw all the logic out the window with the, the ninja stars and the lasso and all that crap. I was like, this this season has been such a disappointment. I would rather have Ava back. And that says something. Ava. I hated that character. I hated that part of the I hated season six. But I would rather have that back. Honestly. I never thought I'd say that. I never thought I would say I'd rather, like, I would rather watch Cicada season. And I hate that season. This show makes... I would rather watch the, 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 Star, the Star Wars movies. The, the, the newer ones. You know, like you know, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Return of the Jedi. I hate those movies, but I'd rather watch them. Because at least that logic makes sense in somewhat in that universe. No, it doesn't. But still, I mean, the lightsabers are contained there. And this doesn't make any sense that they have lightsabers in this, thing, in, in this, in this show, in this in universe. And I'm so annoyed that this show is going to ruin Superman and Lois. Because they already said that they're going to have a big crossover in the beginning of next year between Stargirl, Superman, and Lois. Um, I think, what else? What else? I think, super, uh, no, not Supergirl. Yeah, Stargirl, Superman, and Lois. I think Batwoman, and I think, I don't even know what else. And I think that's it. I'm not happy with that. I don't want this trash show ruining Stargirl. I don't want this trash show ruining Superman and Lois. I don't want that at all. Keep Superman and Lois separate. Keep Stargirl separate. If you want to do a crossover with those two, which it wouldn't make sense because the tones are a little bit different, but I would rather have Stargirl be on its own and Superman and Lois be on its own. And maybe have Diggle build their universe over in the Superman universe. That would be sick. I feel like there's a lot to do with the Green Lantern storyline with him, but I, I don't want this trash show touching anything else. I hope season eight's the, la the last season. I hope it is. It does not deserve a season nine. It does not, does not deserve a season 10. It doesn't even deserve a season eight. As simple as that. That's my opinion, guys. At the end of the day, I do really want to know what you guys thought about this episode because I was laughing the entire time. And that overdramatic Godspeed, they did not care about when they... They're like, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, that's good. Let's just get a guy, give him like an over-the-top over, over the top script and let him just like, you know, overact or whatever for this role or whatever or something. I don't even know. I just didn't like it. It was so bad, the, the, the Godspeed. I hated it. It just, you didn't feel the threat level. I didn't feel anything. And that's supposed to... And what really annoys me is that Bart says that that's his thon. That goofy goober is your thon. You got me. You got me messed up. You got me messed up, show. Writers, fix this. Simple as that. I I'm out, guys. Hope everybody has a great day, a safe day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.